Now we'll just try to understand few ancient type of clock because that time modern clock, whatever we are looking, it was not there. Then ancient clock, one was the very famous that was used, that is sundial. Sundial was based on the shadow of the sun on full day. Means like morning, what will be the length of shadow? Once length of shadow is keep on decreasing, we are going from morning to noon. At noon, shadow will be almost negligible. Again, it will have started to increase towards evening, but in opposite direction. Then based on the length of the shadow, their marking was there. This is marking, different, different marking. This length of shadow where it will be hit, we can predict that much time. It was almost accurate. And this is your uh, sand clock. This is measurement of, you can say, very famous way to measure the time or very minute time. Very minute time. Based on that, plenty of puzzles, questions are there. And uh, so many mathematicians has done research for that. After then, water clock also was there. Based on the how much water has gone, how much water has drawn, based on that, some marking will be given. These all are based on the civilization or based on the that time of uh, person who, who were you can say intellectual of the society, they developed something. A stone sundial that was one of the concept has come and this was used for public purpose. And you know the Jantar Mantar in Delhi, that is the world biggest stone sundial. You might be not knowing. Jantar Mantar is a tourist place. But basically it is a sundial and it is a stone sundial. And world's biggest stone sundial. Based on the similar pattern, you can look little precise way like this. All type of shadow it is given where once the shadow will reach, it will hit and it will show a particular time. Based on the same Jantar Mandar of Delhi, in Jaipur also it is made. And uh, another example is there. This is the measurement of time of our ancient civilization. And you can look it in Konark Sun Temple. And basically, Konark Sun Temple, if you are not aware or you don't know, I am just giving you information. It was, it was made for the measurement of time and in the devotion of God, Sun. Because based on the Sun only, we feel the time. Actually, it is just a feeling. It will never sunset, it will never sunrise. Our Earth is rotating. Sun is never sunset, the Sun is never rise. Earth is rotating due to we are feeling it is a night, it is a day. Who are giving this feel? Due to Sun. Then uh, this just will go through, this is uh, all you can say old, uh, you can say Hindu civilization calculation of time. Generally now we are able to use one second, that is the smallest time. But earlier, ancient time, we used to measure 10 to the power minus 18 second. 10 to the power minus 18 second. You will not believe how much precise calculation was there. How much precise calculation? This is big calculation I am telling. One solar year, after then Deva, this dollar, so many. This is big calculation. But a small calculation I am telling, that time we used to measure 10 to the power minus 18 second. Few facts, few only, not much needed. A clock run faster on a tall mountain than sea level. Why? Due to precise difference. Because what I told, inside whatever mechanism is there, that is perfectly mechanical. That is spring based on the spring. Once pressure has appreciable changed between two positions or two locations, then their fastness or losing the time or gaining the time will change. This is one of the fact you can just say it is a 12. This is again just to add horizontally or multiply anything based on that it will be always 12. This is a small small fact.